So in this uh, video, we're going to introduce you to the idea of matrix decomposition. Now, you would have done linear algebra, and in linear algebra, you would have seen, for instance, uh, what we have revised earlier in the video on uh, basically using Gaussian elimination. Now, one thing you, what you are familiar with is usually solving a system of equations A equals B. What you may not be familiar with is that that, in practical terms, it's not necessary that one solves actually one system. But there are many situations where one might have, uh, you could be needed to solve umpteen or n systems, uh, in fact, of equations. The only thing is that the common thing among all these systems is the uh, matrix A. So you'll see that all of these have the same uh, coefficient matrix, but different right hand sides and different um, x uh, vectors. Now in such a situation, um, Gaussian elimination is not necessarily the most efficient way to solve uh, uh, the system of equations. Uh, just to let you know that, uh, just to let you know that Gaussian elimination requires an order of n cubed over 3 operations um, uh, for reduction of the matrix and of course the back substitution. So matrix decomposition is an idea where we break the matrix A into a product of a, a lower triangular sorry and an upper triangular matrix. So we break the matrix up into a product of two matrices one is lower and one is upper. The idea works something like this. Um, so if you're trying to solve any system AX equals B for instance then A is replaced by, of course, LU. So then, of course, AL, LU equals B. Now, you take this and you say, um, let UX equal some Y. Then, um, if we go back and substitute this into the original, I mean, here, then you end up with LY equals B. Now, of course, uh, we know L and we know B, so we can solve this. This gives us Y. We take the Y, plug it back in here, and we calculate X. The interesting thing is that when you have uh, a decomposed matrix like this, or, or a lower triangular matrix, what you're essentially, you, you essentially don't have to reduce the matrix. You directly back substitute. And back substitution is um, an order of n squared uh, operations. It requires an order n squared. So um, naturally, of course, getting the getting to L uh, and uh, getting to uh, U is not necessarily cheap. Um, the methods we're going to look at a couple of a couple of ways to do this. Um, well, we're going to look at one method in this video, and then we'll look at another one later on, which is a very special case. But um, this method is efficient if you want to go back here and solve repeatedly all these dis different n systems or uh, a number of systems that you want to solve. So in other words, you break up the the work is done once to break up or decompose a l a into l and u, and then repeatedly it's n squared um, or two n squared operations essentially because it's n squared uh, for l y equals b, and then it's another l squared uh, n squared sorry for u x equals y. So 2n squared essentially uh, would solve uh, the system. However, one must also, you need to keep in mind that uh, the decomposition itself uh, is also going to be some work. So let's look at how we can possibly decompose um, a matrix A into this product. Uh, basically, the one we're going to look at, uh, the first method we're going to look at is um, is basically it does involve in fact Gaussian elimination so as we go through the Gaussian elimination process um, what we essentially do is um, you as you would remember as, as you know in Gaussian elimination what you do is you take the um, uh, for instance I'll show you here so for instance you have a11 and and um, elements here and you have a21 and elements here now the first operation uh, basically is to eliminate using the a11 to eliminate a21 and the way you do this is, is usually you would um, multiply 
uh, basically if this is your equation one and this is equation two then your new equation two is basically so e2 is equal to e2 minus uh, a21 over a11 into e1 so this thing here is a multiple um, if we call that the multiple uh, by location which is this location here so it's the multiple at location 2 1 then in this way we would have multiples at all these different locations so the multiple here uh, for the a31 uh, element would be m31 so if we were to construct a matrix as follows which has for instance this would be m21 and then of course this would be 1 and this would be all zeros the rest and you'd have m31 m uh, 3 2 and then 1 and 0 and it continues all the way down all the way down to m n 1 then m n 2 all the way and of course the last element is a 1 so if we look at this and all of these uh, these elements above are all zeros so this is a, a lower triangular matrix so if uh, if we go through the Gaussian elimination process and look at the multiples required for elimination then putting these multiples in this form we can get our lower triangular matrix we so and the matrix of course uh, by the way when you're eliminating uh, the target matrix a what you are making it into is in fact an upper triangular matrix so that would be your upper triangular matrix this would be your longer lower triangular matrix and so you would have a in fact if you multiply the two of them you get your a back so let's look at a quick example here so we'll look at this example so let's look at this case so in order to eliminate uh, we'll start of course eliminating two and if we want to eliminate two our multiple is going to be twice the first equation so um, if I'm construct, I'm, so basically that's going to be my first um, multiple. The then of course um, as I move forward, I'll have one 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 zero here. So what we're saying is two times. Uh, so it's this minus two times that. So four minus. So that's going to give me two. This is going to be three. And then when I eliminate this uh, element here, uh, the multiple is going to be three. So that is going to give me a zero here now you understand why these numbers are coming out as elements because look here your pivot element is one so i'm going to just multiply by by two so what i'm saying is essentially to the new uh, second equation or second row is e2 minus twice e1 so there's your multiple m21 it's two and similarly e3 is um e3 minus 3e1 so there's uh, the multiple 3 Now you don't take the minus sign with it please the negative sign just the numbers okay so that gives us this and of course uh, when we update we end up with this reduced matrix now of course we'll go further and uh, now we need to of course uh, eliminate this element so that would mean that um, the above element is 2 so what we're doing essentially is we're saying look e3 is equal to um, e3 minus e2 so your multiple there is just one the matrix becomes let me just write it down here one 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 zero two three and zero zero and it will be three of course okay so that that these are our three uh, multiples okay so that means that um, We've, we're almost done with this so uh, basically our L matrix can now be constructed it's 1 0 0 and then the multiple here will be 2 the multiple and this is 1 and 0 Then the multiple here is 3 we use 3 to get rid of this one and the multiple here we used was 1 and this of course is 1 so that's our L and our U is basically this matrix here Okay, so that's just 1, 1, 1, 0, 2, 3, 0, 0, 3. Now, you can check this uh, if we multiply the two of these. So, 1 times 1, 0. So, that's equal to LU uh, equals, just checking. So, that's just going to be 1. 
and then you'll have uh, one again, and then you'll have one again, and then it'll be uh, 210 times this, so that's just 2, okay, and then it's going to be uh, 2 plus uh, 2 plus 2 is 4, okay, and then it's going to be 2 plus 3, 5, and then 3, and then 3 plus 2, 5, and then it's going to be 3 plus 3 plus 3, which is 9. So it works. So that's correct. So that is our LU factorization. Now, let's solve the system. Let's choose a B uh, right inside. So let's say that our B was, for the sake of argument, let's make up a B here. Let's pick a B. 137. Okay, and our A is as uh, is this one here, and this is its factorization. This is the L, and this is the U. So now, in order to solve it, in order to solve it, what we're going to do is, as let me show you again. So let me just shrink this a little bit and make some space here. So what we're trying to do is the following. So we want to solve L U um, X, of course, equals B. Now uh, we'll take U X and let that equal Y. So that means this implies that ly equals b. So now what I'm going to do is the following. ly equals b is what I'm going to solve. So where's my, my lower triangular is here. So I have 1, 2, 3, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, and this is, of course, 0. Now, the augmented matrix would be the b, the right-hand side, which is 1, 3, 7. So now I'll go directly to back substitute. So this means that... Um, and y, I'm assuming, is, of course, y1, y2, y3. So this tells me that y1 is 1. And I'll go to the second equation, and that tells me that 2y1 plus y2 equals 3, which means that y2 equals 1 as well. Okay, so it's equal to 1 as well. Then um, move further. If we move further on, we see that um, third equation tells us that 3 y1, uh, 3y1 plus y2 plus y3 equals 7. I get that from this third equation. So y1 I already have. There it is. It's 1. y2 is 1. So I substitute these in here. So I get 3 plus 1, 4. So y3 equals 3. I got my third one. So y is basically found. It's 1, 1, 3. Now I'll go back here and solve this system. So u uh, in this case, of course, is, and then we have 1, 1, 3. Now, of course, again, no reduction required. We'll just go from, the this time we'll go back. That's forward substitution before for y. Now we'll go backward substitution. So the uh, backward substitution here will tell me, tells me that x3 is equal to 1, okay? And then uh, 2x2 plus 3x3 equals 1. So I'll take that 1 and put in here. So that means that x2 is equal to minus 1, okay? So because uh, the 3 goes in there and the 3 goes to the other side and becomes minus 2 and divide by 2 is minus 1. So that's x2 found. And the third equation, the top one, is x1 plus x2 plus x3 equals 1. We already know x2 is minus 1. x3 is 1, so that's 0. So that means x1 is 1. So therefore... All of this implies that x is equal to, in fact, 1, and then minus 1, and 1. So we found our um, solution to this matrix. So this, um, ba this basically is a very straightforward way of calculating the um, uh, solution of the matrix. Now, you would say that, okay, wait a minute, you used Gaussian elimination, so um, isn't that going to be expensive? Well... Yes, you're absolutely right, but I also said that uh, it's this is more efficient if you have multiple systems to solve. So you the the it's only the just for the decomposition you would need the same number of um, approximate same operations. But as uh, you do more and more uh, systems, your uh, operation count drops to just two uh, n squared for the LU. So in other words, the first time. Just the calculation uh, is a bit expensive, but after that, it's quite uh, sip. So here's an alternate uh, decomposition technique. It's very simple. You just write down your lower triangular uh, elements. Yeah, the only thing you do is you put 
uh, for the uh, lower triangular, you put 111 as the diagonal, L21, L31, L32, which we're going to find, and then you have all these upper values, U11, U12, U13, and so on. The method is very simple. Um, as you multiply these two, so uh, when I do the top multiplication, 1 times all it gives me is U11, and U11 should be equal to 1. So I found that. In the same way, when I multiply this by the, the next entry is U12, and that should be equal to the entry here, which is 1. So that's two of them done. Now, when I multiply, then this gives me U13, and U13 should be equal to this entry. So it's equal to 1 as well. Now, if I move further, um, uh, as I go to the next line, then I have the next row, L21 by U11. So I get L21 by U11, L21 by U11 plus nothing, and that should be equal to this element. So that's equal to 2. Now, U11, I already know, is 1. This implies that L21 is equal to 2, in fact. So that's that found. So let's put little squares on these ones that we've found. Now, the next uh, one is L21 by L21 multiplies by U12, okay, plus U22. Now here, uh, let's have a look. We already have L21 is 2 and L12 uh, is 1. So this is supposed to be equal to, by the way, this element here, 4. So this implies, this implies U22 is in fact 2. So we've got that as well. Okay, so U22 is found, it's equal to 2. Then uh, we go further. Next element, uh, the last element in the second row is going to be, um, give us L21, U13 plus U23, and that should be equal to 5. Okay, so um, uh, L21, we already know is 2, L13 is 1, so this means this implies U23 is equal to, uh, sorry, 2, 1 was 2, and 1, so 2 is equal to 3. So we've got uh, U23 as well. Now we go to the, the last row, and we get L31 by U11, okay, uh, and that's supposed to be equal to this 3. U11 is 1, so this implies L31 is equal to 3. We've got that. Next, we go to um, L31, U12, plus L32, U22, and that should be equal to 5. five. This implies L32 is equal to 5 minus 3 uh, is 2 divided by 2 is 1. So we've got L32 also. L31, L31, U1, and that's supposed to be equal to the last element, which is 9. Now, U3, uh, L31 we know is 3, U13 is 1, plus L32 is 1, and U23, um, U23 is 3, uh, plus, and U33 we have to find, so this is equal to 9, this implies that U33 turns out to be 3, okay? So, we've got our... Uh, upper and lower triangular matrix. So that turns out um, that our L, you see it gets us this. Now you'll see it's the same, um, it's a, it's the same way, it's the same uh, decomposition of course. It gives us same two, uh, same L and same U, uh, but it's an alternative, uh, alternate way to get it actually. And this method is called Doolittle's method. Okay. Doolittle's method.